Hello and welcome to another section of this complete react course in this section We are going to learn about class based components So far we have seen that in react we can create a component using JavaScript function For example here I have created a brand new react project and in this project I only have one component this app component and if you notice we are creating this app component using this function keyword so here this app component is a functional component because we have created this app component using this function keyword but this is not the only way of creating a component in react we can also create components using javascript classes so when we create a component using functions we call it functional component and when we create a component using javascript classes we call it class based component or class components so let's see how we can create a class based component for that Inside this source folder, I'm going to create a new folder and let's call this folder components. And inside this components folder, I will create a new file and here I'm going to create a demo component. So I will say demo.js. Okay, so here we have created a JavaScript file. Now inside this JavaScript file, let's go ahead and let's create a class. For that, we use this class keyword followed by a name for the class. Let's call this class demo. Then we use a set of curly braces. Now inside this class, you can have a constructor, you can have properties and you can have methods. But for now, inside this class, I only want to have one method and that method should be this render method. Now this render is a special method in React. When we will call this demo class as an HTML element. So for example, if I go to this app.js and inside this div, if I call this demo component here, and in order to use this demo component, we also need to import it. So here, let's use this import statement and we want to import demo. And to import this demo, we also need to export it from here. OK, so here we want to import demo from this file. OK, so when we are using this demo class like an HTML element, it is going to create an instance of this demo class. And when it will create an instance of this demo class at that time react will look for this render method because it is this render method which is responsible for bringing something onto the UI. So since this render method is responsible for bringing something onto the UI, this render method must return some JSX. For that we use this return keyword and for now let's simply return a paragraph. Okay. Now we want to use this demo class as a component. So the next thing which we need to do is we need to extend the component class from react for that. First, we need to go ahead and we need to import component from react library. And then we need to make this demo component extend this component class for that. We can use this extends keyword and we want to extend the component class. So basically here, this demo component, this demo class is inheriting from this component class. And this component class provides some important functionalities to make our custom component class work as a component. And it also provides us some important properties which we can use. For example, props, state, etc. Okay, so to create a class based component, all you have to do is you have to create a class, a JavaScript class, which should extend from this component class and inside this class you should have a render method which should return some JSX which you want to bring in the UI. Now here we are exporting this demo component this demo class and then we are using it inside this app component like an HTML element. So with this if I save the changes and if I go to the web page here you will notice that in the web page that class based component has been rendered and from that class based component we are returning this paragraph and that is being displayed in this div element. So inside this div, we are calling this demo component. And when we are calling this demo component in place of this demo component, this paragraph will be rendered because that's what we are returning from this demo class from this demo component. Now, what if I want to pass some props to this demo component? For example, instead of specifying this hard coded value, we want to get the value for this paragraph from the component which is calling this demo component. In our example, this app component is calling this demo component. So between these demo components, I want to specify some text 
and that text should be rendered inside this paragraph okay so for that let's say so this is the text which we want to display in the web page so in case of function based components we can access this text which we specify between opening and closing custom component using children props but here in case of class based components we are not receiving that props and we also not going to receive that props as an argument to this render method instead as i mentioned when we make our class inherit from this component class it provides us some useful properties and one of those properties is the props property so what we can do here is here we can use this dot props okay so in this way we can access this props property of this component class and on that props we will have this children props so with this if i save the changes if we go to the web page now in the web page we should see this paragraph this text if i go to the web page that's what you will see here so this is how we can access props value in a class based component in a class based component we can access props using this keyword so this this dot props will give us access to this props object and on that props object we can call its properties now let's say using this demo component i am going to specify an attribute here maybe name and to this i am going to assign a value let's say a string value okay so let's say hello world now i want to use this value inside this demo component so here on this props we will have a property called name and we can access that property that names prop using this props object so let me go ahead and let me use fragments here and let's move this paragraph element inside fragments and before this paragraph element let's say i also want to use an s3 element and within these s3 elements i want to use the name props okay so i want to use the value which we have assigned to this name attribute for that again we can say this dot props so in this way we have access to this props object and on that we will have this name property so with this if i save the changes if we go to the web page we should also have this s3 element okay so i hope it clarifies how we can pass props to the class based components now there are a few points which you need to remember when working with class based components first of all we can use a mixture of class based components and function based components in a react application however in real world projects you might want to stick with one approach though either class based component or function based components using function component is the default and most modern approach for building components these days therefore in most modern real world react projects you will mostly work with functional components only you might never build a single class based component there because nowadays with the exception of error boundaries which we will talk about later in this section there is no reason to go for class based components of course you can use class based components because you prefer to use it over functional components but otherwise there is no other reason to go with class based components and finally also remember that everything which you can do with functional components that is also possible with class based components okay so you can completely replace a functional component with a class based component all right so in this lecture we learned how to create a class based components but why do we need a class based component when we can already create components using functions then why do we need another way of creating components using classes to answer this question just remember that the class based component exist because they were required in the past in the past prior to react version 16.8 it was not possible to use functional components to manage states or side effects to work with states and side effects prior to react 16.8 it was required to use class based components this however changed with the release of react 16.8 because it is this react version where the react hooks were introduced for functional components for example use state use effect etc and using these react hooks we can manage states and side effects in functional components as well and that's why the class based component exist because earlier it was not possible to manage states and side effects using functional components so that time we need to use class based components also keep in mind that the react hooks cannot be used inside a class based components we have already learned this that react hooks can only be used inside a functional component 
we cannot use react hooks inside a class based components so whatever you have learned about react hooks that does not apply for class based components this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day